Good morning! Welcome back to Project DIY. And for today's video, nasa loob tayo na sasakyan natin dahil mag install tayo ng 10.1 inch Android tablet sa loob ng sasakyan as a replacement or a substitute for an Android head unit. Let's go! Alright, to start with, ito yung itsura ng current kong head unit. Kumagana pa naman siya, kaso nga lang, hindi na siya visible, lalo na sa umaga. Discolored na yung screen, may damage yung screen. Pero all in all, kumagana pa rin yung Bluetooth, kumagana pa rin yung radio. Yung other functions niya, like Navi, hindi na siya kumagana. Now, I could have selected to buy an Android head unit. Uh, as a replacement, kaso when I look at Lazada, the average price of an Android head unit is around five to six thousand. The cheapest is five to six thousand. Depende pa yan sa size ng screen at sa function ng actual head unit. So others can range from six thousand to nine thousand pesos. Depende sa laki at sa sasakyan mo. So medyo price kita laga sa specs wise. Yung Android head units na nabibili sa market are either 2GB in RAM Tapos 32GB lang naman yung ROM function Basic lang yung, yung internet, uh, yung radio, bluetooth, same na same So I chose to use my old tablet Why? Because it's available, it's very cheap You can find uh, a, China, a China tablet for around 2 to 3,000 pesos lang Plus, the memory is a lot bigger compared doon sa mga uh, Android head unit na nabibenta mula sa Lazada o sa Shopee. Specs-wise, if you look at the settings of a tablet, medyo mas maganda pa rin yung, yung ating uh, settings. So, entertainment-wise, uh, let's look at the settings of this tablet. May SIM card, may Wi-Fi, meron din siyang Bluetooth. So, pwede ko siyang i-connect doon sa sakyan can connect to the internet yung storage niya definitely mas malaki in my case the total space ng tablet ko is 128 gigabytes it's expandable pa to 1 terabyte with an SD card plus may capability din siya for external USB storage so pwede ako magdala ng external hard drive user interface I can customize it the way I want to see it Unlike dun sa mga um, nabibili natin na head unit, hindi. Kung anong itsura niya, ganun na talaga siya. So in this case, I can put in my videos, my games, my Netflix, my music. I can all use that kasi mas maganda yung function ng tablet. Now, I'm not saying na huwag kayong bumili ng head unit. It's a matter of preference. To install it, ang gagawin natin, uh, in my case, bumili ako ng bracket o ng handle ng cabinet from Ace Hardware. So, it's only 89 pesos. Ginagamit to usually sa mga aparador, sa mga cabinet. Pero in our case, gagamitin natin siya as a platform for our tablet. So, in front of my center console, hanap lang ako ng area where I want my tablet to sit comfortably and safely. In my case, sa ibabaw na aking aircon vents. So it's either you drill holes in your center console or you can use 3M tape to mount this uh, this platform securely. Gagamit din tayo ng magnetic uh, phone holder. Uh, dalawa yung gagamitin natin. I find this to be very very easy to install. Plus kung ayaw ko na, pwede kong tanggalin. Madali lang siyang i-replace. In addition to that, itong klase ng magnetic holder is very very sturdy kapag kinabit natin dun sa metal plate. Ayan. So, ang hirap niyan tanggalin. So, I think this will do the job pretty well. Nagamit lang tayo ng dalawang ganito para ma-hold firm yung tablet natin. Alright, sa so sasakyan natin, hahanap lang tayo ng magandang position kung saan natin ikakabit yung magnetic mounts. Pwede ko siyang ilagay dito sa magkabilang side. Kaso nga lang, itong area na ito kasi are, uh, is a cooler. So, natatanggal siya. Um, kapag ka dito naman sa may CD uh, insert, medyo umaalog pag umaandar yung sasakyan. So, hindi rin safe. So, base dun sa mount natin, pag dito ko sa ibabaw nilagay, hindi rin siya aabot dahil nakatingala yung ating magnet. So, hindi, hindi maganda yung pagkakamount. Uh, my decision is to put it right on top of the old uh, head unit screen. Next is to decide where you want your tablet to uh, be mounted. Para sa akin, dito sa area na to. Uh, ganyan kataas. Uh, 
Alright, next step, linisin natin ng alcohol swab yung ating pagmamountan para siguradong didikit yung ating 3M adhesive tape. Okay, so nakamount na. Tinurn on ko yung radyo to see if naka-affect ba yung ating mount sa function ng radyo. And hindi naman. Hindi nagkakaroon ng issue yung Bluetooth, yung radio. Okay pa rin sila. Gumagana pa rin. Next, kailangan na nating install yung mga metal plates. In my case, dinikit ko muna sila dun sa magnet before ko tinanggal yung 3M tape para mas madali ko siyang maikakabit sa likod ng tablet later on. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ayan, parehas ng plates natin nakamount na. Uh, sukatin muna natin ulit kung saan natin gustong ipatong yung ating tablet para make sure lang na center and pantay. And then afterwards, tanggalin na natin yung backing ng 3M tip at indikit sa likod ng tablet. Ayan. So the tablet is now stuck to the metal plates. You can remove it. And at the back, makikita natin kung saan nag-adhere yung metal plates natin. So it's your option if you want to do it the same way that I did direct sa tablet. Or you can also attach the plates sa casing ng anyong tablet. Ayoko lang kasi talaga na may case yung tablet kasi hindi siya mukhang part ng center console ko. So I, I chose to do it this way. Now, pwede mo rin siyang i-mount ng patayo kung gusto mo siyang nakaganito. All you have to do is to repeat the process ng pagdidikit ng plate sa likod ng tablet. But this time, we're going to use the circular metal plates. Let's go! Ayan, nakabikit na rin yung ating tablet on a vertical position. So, pwede na natin siyang gamitin either horizontal or vertical man. Alright, it's unit testing time. Ganito na yung itsura niya kapag ka naka-install na siya. There you go. Connect lang natin yung Bluetooth. Tinan natin kung gagana. There you have it. And connect din natin yung Wi-Fi kung gagana rin siya. Alright, time to test whether the tablet is going to work sa ating sasakyan. Let's go! Gusto mo mag Netflix? I got you. Kung gusto mo naman ng movie, pwede rin. Meron tayong naka-save dito sa tablet o pwede rin tayong gumamit ng on-the-go 
or external hard drive para manood ng kahit anong movies na gusto mo sa malaking screen. Mas maganda rin tong tablet for multitasking. You can open multiple applications all at the same time with minimal to no lags at all. Positive. South of the equator navigator Gotta hit the road Gotta hit the road All right, installation is done. Very simple, very quick, no wiring required. Ito na yung itsura ng sasakyan mo. Very futuristic and easy to do. Now, the final step is to make sure na gumagana habang nagda-drive. So, let's go mag-drive tayo. Tingnan natin kung gano'ng ka-sturdy yung ating tablet mount. Okay, so dyan nagtatapos yung ating video for the week. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Very effective po ang ating tablet mount. I hope you enjoyed and liked watching the video. Until sa susunod, maraming salamat po.